<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Divinity Original Sin on PC and we are using console controls because that is what I am more comfortable using. And last time I said that we were going to um, pilfer some stuff. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And I will wait for this to renew. And how long is this? Okay. We will read this, but I will do it later. Okay, that's not going to work either where I thought it was going to. Unfortunately, let's try. Let's try this then. Because yes. Nope, uh... Maybe that? Cool. Okay, so send this. I'll keep that on him in case I need it. Send and type. Okay, cool. So this is now ready. I actually want to close this door. And we can now make more weapons, that's nice. Alright, so we got some more stuff. We got our lock pick back, that's nice. I didn't need the pair, but I will take it anyway. What does this do? Okay. I don't think I need this. I'm not using a archer. Send, send. I'm not gonna do that. Send, send, and send, okay. So we got our painting of a man. Send. What else? Okay, we can't go in that way either. Is that all of it in here? No, there's some plates left. Okay. Plate. Plate. I don't know how much this sells for. Not a lot, but it's still money. I did not mean to do that. No. Nope. <clears throat> An old key, now to find out where it opens. Mm 
<laughs> oh, golly gosh! One who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Cecile with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air. I do declare such a sight is rather rare around here. <laughs> <laughs> but where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. Brr, I'm the mayor's cat, don't you know? Born and raised on velvets and viands of most exquisite varieties. Maxine rhymes with queen, after all, and dearest, that is hardly a coincidence. <laughs> oh, he's a darling old Tom, isn't he? Pours over tales in love with me, and who can blame him? The feelings, well, it's rather mutual, actually. But that pet of a puss simply doesn't have a penny to his name. At the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel, I can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally. What if we were to have kittens, he and I? They'd jolly well starve, wouldn't they? With an alley cat for a papa. Oh dear Sam, he's such a good old bean. But he does rather reside at the bottom of the scratching pole, doesn't he? And dear me, one must have at least a mite of standards. But of course, darling. Be my guest. Alright, now to report back to Sam. fire tonight once the regulars stagger home Aye, so there's the rub i am but a stray and she is the mayor's cat oh i do understand her i do she wants a tom of beans not a privation one who brings home the sardines and the occasional halibut <laughs> would that i still had my collar such a marvel it was as bejeweled as the night sky with precious stones, said to have once been worn by a far off Maharaja's best hunting cheater. Like the king of all cats, I looked when I wore it. A gift bestowed upon me by a princess whom I had kept company during a long and perilous voyage. A precious band of gemstones, lost as I was tossed around by the waves like a ball in a game of catch. Among the waves it remains, I imagine. One, perhaps, by a crab who fancies himself a Caesar with it. If only I could be the Caesar again, and Maxine my Caesarina. All right, so we have... I believe we have talked to everyone here now. I believe... I know it's still pointing us to over here and over here and to here, but that's because we have to complete those quests. What is that building, I wonder? Can we go in this building, I wonder? We can. What? Can you not get in there then? Dude, okay. What's in there? Oh, I want all that stuff. I want all that for monies. It's locked behind something. Like a ward or something. It has armor as well. What the heck, dude? One die, Moira. One die, you'll show them all. That I've never been in here before. So let's just explore. Kill our 
from Uthal Gore. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Well, okay. Ah, who better than a proven orc crusher to convince my dumbbell of a friend here that orcs are predators, not pets? Enough of that. I know how dangerous an orc can be, but this one has been reformed. Anyone can see that she's completely docile, but my prejudiced friend here still wants to kill her. <laughs> Maybe before the Great Orc Raid we had time to indulge Ninius's idiotic obsessions. But now we're needed at our posts. I can hardly believe I've been wasting time protecting an orc when I should be running them through. Excuse my friend's violent outbursts. He hasn't enjoyed a woman's touch in quite some time now. Neither have I. A bit edgy. Your woman's touch is less of a loving caress and more of a claw shanked brutally through the throat. I'll take my chances as a bachelor, thanks. My friend here and I were patrolling outside the city walls, when who did I see, creeping along the shore, but this lovely orcish lady. For a brief second, as, well, as long as eternity, we locked eyes. Perhaps, confused by the butterflies in her stomach, she sprang up and began running, claws bared towards Marius. Fortunately for him, I had the presence of mind to ignore my sword and instead adroitly fling my pouch of trinkets towards her. A vial of love potion shattered over her head, and when she turned to face me, she became instantly enamoured. I'm sure she must have been compelled to join the Orcish army under some kind of Duress! A lady with such a sweetly savage manner would never willingly join up with those vicious marauders. Yes, they would. <laughs> I can assure you there wasn't a hint of sweetness in those murderous eyes when she lunged at my throat. She may be confined here for now, but who's telling when she'll escape and who she'll rip to shreds? Ah, I've always had an amateur interest in all things alchemical. When I read in an esteemed periodical from the Wizards of Youthful Gore about an amazing opportunity that could change my life, I had to act fast or lose the once-in-a-lifetime deal. I sent away for the world-famous love potion, available for a limited time only, and it has worked exactly as promised. <coughs> ah, excuse me, good lord. Uh. Good lordy. You see what a fool my friend has been. Spending all his cash on snake oil and bringing a temporarily tranquilized monster into our midst to boot. What kind of monster would lie in a published advertisement? I'm sure the effects of the potion will be everlasting as printed. What kind of monster would lie in an advertisement? Um... They all do, especially in the real world. Yeah, so let that sink in for a bit. You see? He'd believe it was noon at midnight if he read it on a printed pamphlet. Please tell me you can reason with him, or ditch reason and use your sword to shave him from his murderous darling. One die, Moira. One die, you'll <laughs> I mean... This You're one. Right. The information she provides could well turn the tides here in Sicil. Bravo. I trust not... Romantic. Ocean, but my scaly sweetheart in and of herself. You're going to regret this. We're all going to regret this. Hmm. 
too bad indeed. Not even a skeptic like you can deny that she loves me. An Lucky delight. charm. <laughs> when this little charm fades, she'll liberate the flesh from our faces. Come now, enough mm. doom and gloom. Cast your gaze instead mm. upon my fair fanged filly. A man in love with an orc? Plum bullfrogs. Is he blind, stupid, or both? Imagine the hell sent mongrel that'll crawl forth from that union. Why didn't you put her down while you had the chance? Moira, one day you'll mm -hmm. show them all. Only in hope that a tame orc can be useful indeed to the worf efforts. As for the possibility of those two funning around. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. If I'd seen evidence, any indication at all, that an orc were more than either a bloodthirsty hellhound or a bloodthirsty hellhound in clever disguise, I'd be the first in line to bless any such mixed up union. But knowing what I know and seeing what I've seen, I can draw just one conclusion. An orc's an orc. A human's a human. And the only congress the two ought to share is that of war. Mm. Oh well, whatever. It is what it is. Um. Yeah. This little child fate shall liberate the flesh from our faces. Come now, enough doom and gloom. Cast your gaze instead upon my fair fanged filly. Avert your gaze, and I'll handle this threat for all our sakes. She wouldn't hurt a fly, and I won't let you hurt a horn on her head. Okay. I am going to do the unthinkable. I'm getting messages. Hold on. These might be important messages. Best class for this place reeks of orc stench. All right, it was a friend of mine who recently purchased Elder Scrolls Online for the first time, and they were asking me some advice. So it was, and it wasn't important for some of you who might think it wasn't, but to me it kind of was. All right, we're going to pilfer. Being a thief, being a thief, being a thief, being a thief. An orc in love. Ha! When this little charm fades, she'll liberate the flesh from our faces. Come now, enough doom and gloom. Cast your gaze instead. All right, we're out. My fear. This place freaks of all. 
All right, we're gonna pilfer all of this crap in here. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Look at all of this crap in here. Dude. Damn. Okay, I wonder how you pickpocket. I may not have it, but... Alright, now for this room here. I'm going to make a save in case we get caught, because it is possible that we could get caught. Maybe. I don't know. But I want to go on a whim here and say it is. One day, Moira. One day you'll show them all. <coughs> Alright, we're in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woodruff spotted something. Where? What did he spot? What did he spot? Out there maybe? So you can't repair it, okay. That's not worth taking at all, I'm sorry. What did he spot? No way, what? Was that it? Did he spot this? Cool, okay. I don't see anything different though. Where was my last? Okay, I want to see what he discovered. I am curious. So there's really nothing here. But I will do it again. Just so that, come on. Okay, yeah, so this nothing good there. Close this, and then... Save here. And now what did he spot? Woolgroth spotted something. That right there. He spotted this. Okay. Okay, and now that's not there this time. Good. Yeah, it was just a waste of time, in my opinion. Oh, there's something in my glasses now. Crap. Yep, and there was. Okay, I don't need cheese. But just so I know what cheese does, and it doesn't do hardly anything at all for me. I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need this, I don't need this. Okay. 
if I could do it in peace. Just making conversation. Outdated sword. I will take this. I will take this. Come now. It's just a turn of phrase. Alright. Will you please turn your phrases out of way? Yeah, Wolgraf is amazing. I love him so far. He is fun. I'll take that, sure. Alright, nothing good there. Cool. One day, Moira. One day you'll show them all. Alright, I gotta find a key to get into that door. I wonder if I just talk to this guy right here. Salutations! Source hunters, I see. I'm Sergeant Curtis, proud protector of this house of Legion Goods. Um, I'd rather not sacrifice the two armor for 0.3 more movement. Yeah, that's not worth it. I can, I can get two weapons in my characters that do that damage versus one that does that. So, that's not really worth my time. This is a storing house for Legion supplies. Perhaps the most important building in the realm. By my and others. He has the key. And I, Sergeant Curtius, have been trusted to guard it. Curtius is my name, the lead. He has the key. He has the key. He has the key. I can't pickpocket him. Interesting. Wonder why I can't pickpocket. I wonder why I can't pickpocket. That's interesting. Huh. Well, I mean... <clears throat> Is there another way in? No. This is the only way in. Oh, there's a quest here. What? Harbor Warehouse. There's a quest here. Oh, no, no, it's not a quest. It's a, um... Why would we be guarding this place? Think! Makes sense, sir. So there's a key somewhere that I need to get. Well, a source hunter. Back... But the question is, where is... Keep your pleasantries to yourself. What are you doing inside this warehouse, snooping around? If it's conversation you're looking for, I'd recommend my comrade Florius. Or as I prefer to call him, Loose Lips McGee. As for myself, my job is to protect this warehouse, not chit-chat with intruders. That idiot man-child would sooner spend an hour chatting up a thief than a minute arresting him. 
I only hope he gets transferred out of this warehouse and straight to the perimeter. Let him rot off as zombies here instead of mine. Nah, even thinking of him turns one into a gabbing hen. Please, leave me be. So I gotta find Florius, huh? Well, a source hunter. A very hearty welcome to our humble warehouse. Have a look around. And don't mind if I pick your brain about the scoop around Undervale. I'm behind on my current affairs. I tell you, this gig sure beats getting my toes bitten off by zombies out in the field. <laughs> we warehouse guards don't have to do much apart from stroll the perimeter a few times an hour. And of course, every now and again, some friendly folks like yourself will wander through here. And nothing beats a pleasant conversation, though my comrade Horatius has quite different opinions on that matter. Have you talked to him? <laughs> Thinks every man, woman and child who steps foot in this place wants to rob it blind. If I so much as greet a townsperson with a hello instead of a state your purpose, he starts frothing on and on about godly duty and security breaches. This Jake business is quite the scandal, no? I myself suspect his wife, Esmeralda, and the butcher seconds that, let me tell you. Then again, and you didn't hear this from me, he's going through quite the nasty divorce himself, and there's his children to consider. Hmm. But I imagine his youngest, Kimberly, won't mind, never did get on well with her mother ever since the incident. Oh, it's an unparalleled pleasure having a fresh ear around here. That fusspot said what? Well, you loose lips will let that lowly backbiter know what he thinks about that. So, something you'd like to say to my face? I haven't a thing to Salutations. say. Salutations! Source hunters, I see. Courteous is my name. This is a story. Salutations! This is a courteous. Is Drags on the street? Here now! Both of you! What is this barber? Back to your post at once! Sir, this is an important matter. A matter of honor. Such matters are There's a key somewhere. I gotta find it. That's how I get in. That's how I get in. Is all that thieves need to sneak by unnoticed. It won't happen again, sir. Yeah. That's that's how I get in. God, duty's not so bad, hey. What be quite a bit You've caused enough distraction. Yeah, that's how I get in. Alright, I want to move them away. But I have Wograph, so it doesn't really matter. There has to be a key somewhere. No, 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 stop. There has to be a key somewhere. Because I don't think there's any way to get to level 40. Yeah, and there's no other way in there. This is the only way to get into there. This place reeks of orc stench.
Where does that go? Okay, it goes nowhere. Is there really not another way in there? Yeah, I don't see another way in there at all, unless it's underground somewhere. Was this possible? Yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah, no, there is nothing here. This place reeks of orc stench. I have no idea how to get into there. Huh, whatever then. It is what it is. Oh well, who cares? Let's move on. Well, you see, the goal. All right. Let's go ahead and start doing our quest then, huh? Actually... You know, we're good for now, yeah. We're good for now, I think. You know, we're good, yeah. Let's just go ahead and head out and do some adventuring. I don't know if I need that or not, honestly. Charla. Adventure Sword Base Kit. What does that mean? 
What does base kit mean, I wonder? Reflect 10% of melee damage as fire. Inert wooden wand. What does this mean? Base kit. What does this mean? Requires eight strength, okay. I legit might buy this and see if she can wear it. something being slipped into your hand. One of Walgraf's notes. It reads, Saw you steal. No biggie. I'm a thief. I didn't think a source hunter would pinch. The rogue keeps his eyes fixed on yours. He's expecting an answer. Mm. Walgraf seems to be shocked, but then comforted by that last reply. You can tell he's seeing things in a new light, deciding whether he should believe the former statement or the latter. I want to see if... I want to buy that axe. Oh, oh, hello. What have we here? An adventurer, I judge, by the world-weary look of your weapon, and a noble by the wonderfully deep pockets clipped to your belt. What luck! What luck. Charla is my name, good friend. I came to this second life some time ago. Some years? Years, it must be. Or perhaps, perhaps not. In any case, it has been time well spent hunting out magnificent goods and selling them to interested parties. So many wonderful artifacts I've found, so many precious relics I'd be so happy to rehome to a trusted buyer. Have a look by all means. You'll find every make and kind of impressive accessories, but you'll also find certain very rare relics too. You look like just the sort of self-starter to appreciate what I mean. Weapons, four of them, that the intrepid adventurer can improve and upgrade as he travels if he finds the right pieces. See them? See them? Judge for yourself. That's what that means. Okay. Bye then, good friend. Goodbye. Yes, good friend. I'm quite busy finding for the moment, but if there's something you'd like to buy, I could set all that aside for a few delicious moments. So does it say how to upgrade it? 
No, it does not. Okay. So that's probably not worth getting because I have no idea how to upgrade it. This one seems... 10% of the damage taken is reflected back. That... Battering ram. I already have that one, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to give up fire. How much money do I have? Oh. I am actually... Oh, she cannot identify. Okay. I might get this for Wolgraf, since he doesn't need intelligence, and then I can give the other one to someone else who does need intelligence. I might. I am considering it, but I may not. Can I afford that? I can, but is it really worth getting? It's only one intelligence. That one is not really much worth getting. Allows me to cast Ice Shard. Okay, now I'll hold off enough for now. I would rather get more. What is this current? Okay, so now that we're hit him down to 14. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take that because it's one more dexterity. You call to Wolgraft. He awaits you. Yes, good friend. I'm quite busy finding for the moment, but if there's something you'd like to buy, I could set all that aside for a few delicious moments. Oh, did a stock change? No, they're not. Okay, good. Oh, they don't have two of them either. That sucks. Oh, well.
All right, I'm going to spend some money here. It's just I got to figure out where. I will buy that for Woolgraph. I will buy this, I think, for Woolgraph as well. Perception and leadership. What is his current perception? Okay. Oh, and more action points. Um... Yeah, um, I might. No, never mind, I won't. Never mind, I won't. Okay, nope, nope, no, 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 no. This goes here. That one goes there. Who has the least amount of... Okay. Then it doesn't really matter where it goes. Okay. Then you get this for the more damage and then what does Dex do for you? Defense rating. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yes, good friend. I'm quite busy finding for the moment, but if there's something you'd like to buy, I could set all that aside for a few delicious moments. Um... Buy that good... No, that's fine. All right, cool. What does this thing do? I'm curious. Oh, it's red, so it's stealing from her. Okay. Did not realize that. Okay. So I want to keep her alive then. Can I go in that building? Nope, I cannot go in that building. Fair enough. Alright. 
I am going to go ahead and put a cut in the video here. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.